Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Ian, I am the Bearded Hammer. Uh, and let's take this time to reflect on last night's match against Blackburn Rovers in the Carabao Cup where we were second best in everything, I, in my personal opinion. Obviously having been at the game, it seemed as if Blackburn played a second string team um, in preparation for their, their game at the top of the championship against Burnley at the weekend and their second team didn't get out of second gear which is good for us uh, in that first half we were abysmal it's in, again my opinion one of the worst performances I've seen from the West Ham squad since Pellegrini was in charge and that's saying something it's one of those performances where if they'd played their first team I think we would have got thumped 4 or 5 nil. Uh the first half let's let's look at that in isolation to start off with negative um every pass was sideways or backwards Emerson did get forward a few times but he has a complete inability to put a cross into the box he will either be ahead of everybody and not put a first time cross in for the attackers to run onto at which point he'll stop, either pass the ball backwards or do a step over and lose the ball to the defender. Every opportunity. Now, by the end of the game, we'd had 22 shots. I don't quite know how they've added that up. Only five on target. Um, some might say we were unlucky. Antonio did hit the bar at one point from a corner, but it didn't go in. It didn't count. We gave away a very sloppy early goal and they they finished very well uh, with Ben Berrett and Diaz, who I know we've been linked with, give, getting a, a second curling around Areola. Now, uh, the guy who scored first for them, Val, rounded Areola and should have chipped, just chipped it in. Should have put it in the net. He tried to do too much and Ogbonna cleared it off the line. Um, so it's, we looked like we were going to win, but obviously go straight to penalties, and then he scored that last, last sort of gasp goal. I can go with that. The penalties from both sides were good. You, you can't deny that. Uh, and now Bonner took the 10th penalty, as you'd expect the 10th penalty to be, to be taken by someone who doesn't really take penalties by someone who doesn't want to take a penalty. He cleared that ball, as he would do from the back lines, and I think he's unlucky it wasn't two inches lower. Two inches lower, that rifles into the top of the net. So I don't blame him that much, because it's very unusual to get to, to ten. Um, he His save, or goal line clearance, saved us in the game from losing in 90 minutes, and all right, he was unlucky. Um... Where do we go from here? Oh, it, it's clearly obvious to everybody. Ben Rama is a fan favourite. He's the player at the minute who gets us on the edge of our seats, who excites us, who runs at, at teams, who makes things happen. And the game changed when he came on. What David Moyes has got to do, if he wants to keep his job, He's played to the players' strengths that we've got. We've got Ben Rama, who's good on the ball. We've got Fornells, who's good on the ball. We've got Skamaka, who's good on the ball. Paqueta, who's good on the ball. Bowen, who's good on the ball. Why are we playing a counter attack system? Why is it that every other team, when they get the ball, seem calm in possession, yet ass at ours seems rushed and panicked and all over the place? It's very, very frustrating. Now, I am very much a supporter of David Moyes and I, I've liked him, he saved us the first time and I think it was a mistake in getting rid of him we brought him back and there was grumbles from the crowd yet I stood firm in my views of actually no he's going to do a good job for the last two years he has now middle of last year we were looking at a fourth place finish and we were playing like we should be fourth place finish we then dropped off a cliff and again my opinion the Europa League run that we had to the semi-finals, 
papered over a lot of cracks. Had we gone out early in that, I think he would have gone at the end of last season. We've started this season poorly. We're now one game away from the World Cup, which is a well-needed break. But we're sitting two points above the relegation zone. I think if we lose to Leicester, which I think we will, they've hit a bit of a purple patch and are scoring for fun and we're playing negatively, I think they will capitalise on that and punish us for it. Depending on, on how other results go, see Southampton have got a new manager, not in the Forest beat Tottenham, a little bit of confidence, we will end up going into the World Cup in the bottom three. At which point, I don't think the board had any other choice than to get rid of him. And I know that that's a dangerous game to be playing because will he keep you up? You'd like to say yes, but he's also been relegated with teams. Sunderland, uh, he was relegated with. And we need to take a risk at this point. I think to have... Taking a risk and fouled will be better than to not take a risk and foul anyway. Um, you've got... There are a few managers who are available. Two shall be in one. And that, I know that's p- putting yourself high in, in the pecking order because he's a world-class manager. And same with Potocino. But they both favour possession-style play. And that being said, we should be utilising the players that we have and playing to their strengths, not playing in a system you fit into my system. Yes, I agree with that somewhat, but it's not working anymore. So, my final assessment. Blackburn will probably get promoted this season. And rightly so, because they were much the better team. Um, If they take our place in the league, I won't be happy. But if they're playing like that in the Championship and they're playing like that against us, with a second string team, then they deserve to be there because we didn't want it. However, as much as a Moy supporter I am, the board needs to look at what is in the best interest of the club. Now, I know there's been some talk of them selling the club next year. That's not going to happen if they're in a championship. They're not going to get the money that is right. And... It's almost as if to say to David Moyes, not, oh, your shit, go away. But thank you very much. You've taken us as far as you can. And now it's time for us to take the next step in our journey and move on. Um, It's unfortunate that we had such a good run in this competition last year. Um, We we beat Man City. We hadn't been beaten in, what, four years. We beat Manchester United. We went out poorly to Tottenham. That was sort of the start of the downfall, wasn't it? Um, We were injury-stricken and and, and that was it. We never really recovered. But this year we've gone out to Blackburn. That doesn't look good, doesn't sound good. And it's not good. And I think the general consensus in the West Ham camp at the minute is we're all feeling a little bit sorry for ourselves. But we've got to sort of try and be hopeful for the weekend. And in some senses, I really want us to win and beat Leicester. In others, maybe we do need to lose. Maybe that's the final straw to push it over the edge and and force some change around the place. Um, Yeah, don't really know what else to say on that matter. But let me know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure you're subscribed to The Bearded Hammer. And we'll see you very, very soon. Take care.